So as you can see, we have calculated now true power, which is the power that comes from the resistor, and we calculate it to be 0.238 watts. The next step is for us to calculate the reactive power. And of course, the reactive power comes from the inductor. And that's also very key for you to remember where these powers come from. Now that I know that the reactive power comes from the inductor, I use my power formula again, and I just substitute the values. So we go back to our current again, I'm going to square the current to get our current value is 0.063 amps. So 0.063 amps squared, and you're going to now multiply it by the resistance of the inductor. But remember the resistance of the inductor has a special name. It's the inductance reactance, okay? So it's this value right here, 1884.95 ohms. Even if you don't recognize the title of the value, you should recognize the units since we're doing the ohmic value. So it's 1884.95 ohms. And you replace that over here. 1885.90 ohms. Okay. Now you just put this value, all these values into your calculator. 0.063 amps squared times 1885.90. And I get 7.4 eight watts. So this is the reactive power that comes from the inductor. And now that I have the value, I can just replace it right here. 7.48 watts. So now I have my reactive power and I have my true power. The next thing that we're going to calculate is the apparent power.